Greetings and welcome to all our viewers. This is channel 173, the TV mall channel here on DSTV. We're looking at the appliance hour with myself, Mutinta Venkele, and Chef Bonolo here in studio. And we have the beautiful Braun Sommelier Toaster, which yes. is already at work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've already put it to work because I've got a little bit of a breakfast there going for you. So we are, you know, just starting it off. And the important thing to note is this toaster over here does not look like your toaster you have at home. Why not? Because your one that you have at home is a pop-up toaster. Okay. And it is so much smaller. As you can see, the sommelier has a wider slot, okay. you know, meaning you are able to put in the types of breads you wouldn't normally be able to put in your pop-up toaster. Okay. The other thing that I love about it is that it's got a longer slot. So not only is the slot wider, it is actually also longer. So, you know, it actually determines the size of bread that you are able to put in there. And it doesn't limit you at all. All right. So gone are the days where your chair butter sat on the side, lonely looking on at the normal sliced bread <laughs> because it couldn't be toasted as well. You're able to do that with the sommelier toaster here at TV Mall. It's valued at over 700 Rand, but we're bringing it to you for just 699 Rand. So make sure you get your hands on it by calling us on 0861 000173 or log on to tvmall.co.za to place your order today. I love the metallic finish. I think it really does look good in any kitchen. So the metallic finish means you're going to be able to clean it very easily. Stainless mm -hmm. steel is very easy to clean. A lot of us know how to clean. And the other thing, as you so rightfully point out, is that it's going to fit in so easily into any modern kitchen. Because yeah. you do find a lot of you know appliances that have the same type of finish. And you'd imagine that a toaster that's able to do what the sommelier does is going to be a lot bigger on your counter mm -hmm. but you have a pretty slick and slim design here where the capability speaks beyond the size of it so they made sure it was very smart technologically built and the look as well i mm -hmm. think you know because of the look you will forgive it mm -hmm. if it does take a bit part of your counter you will be a bit more forgiving yeah. to it because that means it's not going to be intrusive and it and it doesn't look like a normal toaster so it will make you you know happy to see when you do wake up in the morning and talking about waking up in the morning mm -hmm. breakfast is very important yes a lot of us should but don't eat breakfast and that's because you know we are not happy with just being able to eat toasted bread mm -hmm. you want to be able to you know experience other things that you are only able to get in restaurants other types of bread other toasties that you want to be able to make but mm -hmm. your toaster isn't able to now the sommelier is going to assist you with that because it is able to take the kinds of breads or bread products that you wouldn't be able to put into your toaster so i've got okay. a bagel over here wow. that i'm going to put in yeah okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we are we are really going full in. All right. So I've got a bagel and I'm going to toast my bagels just a little bit. So in terms of the power functions mm -hmm. or the, the dial, it's got the normal dial as you can see. Maybe you can turn yours around because mine okay. won't move this way. And you, you are able to choose, you know, where you want it to go. You've got the one all the way up to the seven in terms of the power function, and you are able to choose where you want it to go. Okay. And to engage the toasting process, you just need to press the rise that way. Okay. And that means it then goes in, and then it starts the toasting process. Look, I've got a whole bagel in here, mm -hmm. and that's a big, that's a, an American-sized bagel if yes. I've ever seen one. Yeah. But you know, the whole thing is, is able to fit in here. So I'm able to just toast a whole bagel all at once, which I know for sure I'm not able to do in my pop-up toast. That's true. But now also speaking to the different kinds of bread that we're able to put yes. in there, how do I control the different kind, kinds of brownness? Because if I have a chia butter, I don't want it toasted entirely because it could be dry and very hard for me. So it's going to be a little bit tricky, mm -hmm. probably in the beginning, but the manual will help you because okay. the manual will show you the different kinds of breads and you know which ones to put at what okay. uh, at what level having said that you don't have to worry about it too much because once you've engaged it and you decide that you want to know how far it's going it you can just hit the stop button okay so the auto stop or the, or the auto cancel will ensure that you are able to then you know have a look inside mm -hmm. and figure out if you are good to go or if you still want it to go in a bit more. All right. So now if we're talking about something like a croissant and I don't mm -hmm. want it toasted, I just want it warm, what would I do and can I do anything with this toaster? Hey, you're skipping forward, eh? <laughs> okay. But it's okay.
Okay, so okay. I've got a croissant over there, and right. I will do that for you just now, okay. as soon as my bagel is done. But what we've got over here is the bread warming rack. Okay. So the bread heating or bread warming rack is the one that you're going to put on top. It fits on top of your toaster, right? Okay. And then you are going to be able to put your croissant on top to be able to warm it. Because remember, in an instance where you've got the croissant, all you actually want is to just warm it mm -hmm. to get get it back to that lovely, you know, bread tasting lovely softness mm -hmm. and you know that then you'll be good to go because that's basically all that we want from it all right so we're able to and i think i'm liking how you're able to pull the bagel out and push it right back in without difficulty it's not catching onto any sides and it's able to come up to a place where it meets you where you don't need a butter knife to pull it out <laughs> because butter knives are not used for pulling stuff out mm. of the toaster but that's what we normally use it for mm -hmm. so the sommelier does understand that because we are saying you can use it you know to make lots of different types of breads mm -hmm. there are certain types of breads that you're going to put in there that are not too large mm -hmm. that might actually be much smaller so for example those waffles over there yes. if you've made waffles and then you put them in your pop-up toaster getting them out might be a problem yeah. because they are a little bit smaller yes. so the sommelier actually has a high rise okay. so the rise does go all the way as you can see the rise that goes all the way and actually stops there mm -hmm. but you can actually take it a bit higher okay to be able to take it all the way up all and right it does make it so much easier for you to operate also this does sound like mom and dad you have a very exciting lunch ahead of you without needing to be there your children can create in the sommelier toaster yes. without your assistance or supervision mm -hmm. because it's pretty safe to use as well because the outside as well is double walled right okay so when you do touch on the outside it's not hot at all mm -hmm. that and you know as a mom then you know you're going to be you, you don't have to worry about it being too hot and the children then operating it on their own mm. and talking about children operating operating it on their own. The one thing that children know how to do is they know how to make things messy. Yes. <laughs> but cleaning is not really their strongest forte. It's yeah. not always. And that is where the sommelier is a few up on your toaster that you have okay. because it's got the crumb tray that you are able to just slide out. Mm -hmm and clean at the end of your, your toasting or at the end of your breakfast time. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about, you know, was the toaster clean? Did the last person who used it bother to clean it? You don't have to worry because the tray is the one, the only thing that you're going to have to take out and clean. All right, would I be able to make something like a grilled cheese in there? So Or toasted cheese, so, so the important thing is, when you've got, when you, you want to toast your cheese, mm -hmm. it, you might just need to ensure that the breads are together, right? And then you are able to put it on the rise and you'll okay. be able to get your toasting. So the size is not going to be a problem All right. because that's what normally happens. And getting it out is not going to be a problem because that's one. normally the <laughs> other issue. So you do have, you know, the capability or the ability to be able to toast something, but then you can't get it out. And mm -hmm. that's, you know, that's the part that gets to me. So let's move a little bit on. I've got some waffles here. Okay. And these waffles have been in the freezer. All right. Because, you know, with good intentions, you want to make waffles, you want everyone to be happy. Yeah. But now they are cold. Yeah. And they're actually quite frozen. Yeah. And the only way to heat them up is to crank up an oven. But not if you have the sommelier toaster. So the sommelier toaster actually has a defrost button. Okay. Right over here. So the defrost button is the one that you are able to engage to defrost foodstuffs such as flapjacks, waffles that you've had in the in the freezer. And now you just want to defrost them to ensure that you are able to eat them. And they are lovely. And, and you know, they, they're fresh. Okay, so you're able to do that without having to crank up an oven. I think that's the big save over yes, there. Yes, it is. So you're able to also, what, the other one was reheat. So, because I see so three the, buttons. Yes. Yeah. So the other one is actually to reheat. Okay. So the reheat button is the one that you're going to use in the instances when you are reheating, you know, uh, say your croissant mm -hmm. on top of the heating rack. Okay. So that will be the one that you engage. I don't know if you actually realize that when I engage the defrost button, we've got a little orange button, uh, a light that went on there. Okay. Okay. And that is to show you that it is now using the defrost functionality. And it's not just on, it's it also is, defrosting. It's defrosting. And I'm looking at the spread that over here, here in studio, and we're able to crank out quite a lot of food, and it hasn't even been 
like a whole 15, 20 minutes. Yes, it's a very short period of time. So what I'm actually trying to show you is a whole spread, of, you know, to mimic a whole spread of breakfast, mm -hmm. as you would see in the normal breakfast uh, tables. Because if you've got a family of four, <laughs> you will actually find that everyone has their own requirements. That's true. And that means that you will be, uh, as mom or dad, will be able to reach and sometimes even surpass some of their requirements. All right, so you're able to do all of this, create this whole spread of breakfast with the sommelier toaster here at TV Mall. And this is a brawn sommelier toaster for just 699 Rand. Stainless steel, the defrost function, removable bread warmer attachments, and you'd usually pay extra for those things. And also, the big one for me, it's got an anti-jam safety. So making sure that you're able to get all the food that you put in right out again. Also able to put different kinds of bread in. Call us on 0861 000 or log on to tvmall.co.za. If you'd like to try some toasted chia butter bread with your cheese next time, as opposed to just normal bread, you're able to play a little bit and mm -hmm. also able to churn out as much as we have here in studio in under 15 minutes. And that, I think, is what is important for me. Because the reason why a lot of us don't do the breakfast ritual is because we don't have the time. Yeah. And if you did want to dedicate some time to be able to do it then you would only be able to give people toast mm. so you know you can't call everyone around the table for just toast but you can call them around the table for a spread that That's looks true. this delicious where everyone is able to have exactly whatever it is that their heart desires yeah. without taxing you too much all right and you i think also the most exciting thing is hello waffles without having to make them from scratch <laughs> yes <laughs> so, so you can got a include lot your waffles <laughs> to your meal prep day so Absolutely. on meal prep you can make the waffles freeze them and during the week you can just be warming them up all through the week all right so now we are using the reheat function now we are going to use the reheat function to actually just do our croissant. Okay, so you've As you can see, it. I've put the reheating rack on mm -hmm. to just ensure that the croissant is sitting pretty on top of the rack. All right, so you're able to get your pastries back to the bakery freshness. The moment mm -hmm. it came out of the oven, you're yes. able to do all of that with this reheating rack that you're going to get when you order your Braun Sommelier toaster for just 699 Rand here at TV Mall. Call us or log on if you're feel, feeling inspired by the spread that we have here because it is quite impressive. It is. And this is what we want you to experience. And that's why we're saying, call in and get it for your family. Because, you know, in terms of toasters, mm. all the toasters I've had in my life, I, I don't know how I've come by them. Yes. We are giving you the opportunity to buy a toaster that is going to do all the things you need your toaster to do. And so much more. That's true. Mm. With the control that you need to have to change the, the what's the word? How done. To change, yes. How done to your toast yes, is. Yes, to, ch to change the browning. The browning. If, yeah. If you don't know the word, you might actually be the people who eat the really brown toast. Yeah. That's not how it's supposed to be. <laughs> You've got the option to be able to change it yourself. All right. So you're able to do all of this with the Braun Sommelier Toaster. Beautiful spread, Chef Bonolo. You've outdone yourself with this toaster. Call us, log on, and ciao till next time. Bye-bye.